Let's talk a very common mistake I see people make when it comes to their LinkedIn profile. And that is hiding your pretty face from second and third plus connections. Um, so you've probably seen this before when you look somebody up on LinkedIn, if you're not connected with them, you see that little gray circle box face instead of their actual headshot. Um, and while you might wanna be private, I get that, uh, generally speaking though, I would recommend you have your headshot available to anybody who's searching on LinkedIn because it really helps people find you because um, if you have a common name, like my name is James Roloff, I'm not that you know unique of a name. Um, other people with my same name exist and having the headshot helps a lot with finding someone via search um, or looking somebody up ahead of a meeting, ahead of a presentation, uh, whatever it might be. So it's really simple to go in and update this so people can find you. All you have to do is click onto your profile picture itself and then right here you'll see this little uh, button. Mine says anybody because anyone can see me, right? Um, but you can change this so only first degree connections, so only people who are connected with you, um, or you can do your network. So basically people who are connected to your connections, so second and third degree connections. All LinkedIn connections basically means, or sorry, all LinkedIn members basically means if someone searches on the internet and they stumble upon your LinkedIn page, if they're not logged into LinkedIn, then they won't be able to see you. That's not a bad option either to prevent people from just scraping your picture in general. Um, but again, I recommend doing anyone that way. Anyone can find you and anyone can see your pretty face, know who you are and send a connection request and start working with you.